Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to download and create the installation media for Windows 8.1 on a bootable DVD disc. Please note, this video is not a Windows 8.1 installation video. It is for instructional purposes only. Installing Windows 8.1 incorrectly can lead to data loss and software corruption. I take no responsibility for damage or injury. If you're not running Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, you will need to enter a valid Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 product key to complete a Windows 8.1 installation started with this disk. You'll also need a product key if you're running Windows 8 and trying to install Windows 8.1 Pro. Uh, to learn how to buy Windows 8.1 and get a, get a product key, go to the Get Windows page. I'll put the link in the description. You will need a blank DVD uh, plus or minus R disk with at least 4 gigs capacity. I used a Memorex uh, 4.7 gig DVD plus R 16 times and it worked great. See the video description for a link to purchase the media I used on this video. Note also that not all DVD media is compatible with every drive. Check your drive specifications for compatibility. You will need also a PC with a reliable internet connection and at least 4 gigs of free hard drive space. The download is about 4 gigs and the time it takes to download will vary on your PC. Your connection speed and other factors will affect that. You will need a compatible computer with a 64-bit or 32-bit processor. CPU, um, you'll need a, to download either the 64-bit or 32-bit version of Windows 8.1 that's appropriate for your CPU. To check this on your si current system, uh, go to PC Info in the PC Settings or System Control Panel, System in Control Panel, and look for System Type. If you're reinstalling Windows 8 or 8.1 edition of Windows, you should also choose and to download the same edition of Windows. Note that this might be 8, Windows 8.1 or Windows 8.1 Pro. To check what edition you're currently running, go to PC Info in PC Settings or System in Control Panel and look for a Windows edition. Uh, I'll show you how to do that next. Oh, there's the DVD-R uh, media I was using and I will put a link to this in the description as I stated. So go to your start button. I'm using Windows 7 here. So I'm just showing you how to get it, get your information from Windows 7. I don't have 8.1 installed, but if you follow the directions I just gave you, you should be able to find this information there too. After hitting your Windows button, go to Computer, right-click that, and choose Properties. And there's your computer information under Control Panel, System Security, System. And in my case, it's Windows 7. You'll notice that I'm running an Intel Core 2 Duo CPU. But what matters here is that I'm running a 64-bit operating system, which tells me I need to download the 64-bit version of Windows or Windows 8.1. So next, uh, we need to go get the media. And the way to, to go get the media is uh, to open a Google search like I have done here. And uh, my search that gets me to this link is uh, Windows 8.1 Reset Media. If this doesn't get you to this page or to the appropriate link, look in the video description. I'll have another link for that there. The one we want to pick is Create Media for Windows 8.1 and Windows Help. So I'm going to click on that. So here we are at the Create Installation Media for Windows 8.1 web page from Microsoft. And it basically tells you what I'm telling you in this video in a print form. But uh, it also has some handy uh, links on it that you may want to use to uh, uh, make sure that it, it, all this is appropriate for you. Number one link here is the System Requirements page. Click on that to see if your system is up, if up to the requirements required for 8.1 to work correctly. The next link that you may want to look at is Update Windows 8.1 Frequently Asked Questions. And if you're not running Windows 8 or 8.1, you'll need to enter uh, Windows 8 or 8.1 product key, as I stated. You'll also need a product key if you're running Windows 8 and trying to install Windows 8.1 Pro. And to learn how to buy that, uh, you need to go to the Get Windows or, or Get Product Key at the Get Windows page, which the link for is right there. If you're running Windows Vista or Windows XP, see the upgrade to Windows 8.1 from Windows Vista or Windows XP link down here. Now, if you want to know which version of uh, Windows 8.1 you want to download and install, then you can go to the Compare Windows uh, 8.1 Editions page here, and I'll put this link in the video description for everybody. And it gives you a whole range of 
uh, parameters here to choose from to compare all the different versions, let's say user experience. And then you get this list of check marks of what each version does and what each version doesn't do. And it looks like the user experience is the same on every single version. So that there's, doesn't really matter. Uh, if you go to apps, then you'll get more, you know, options uh, under apps there. And you see that there is some differences. And if you look down here, you get the option to buy or try uh, whatever versions they're looking at or showing you. So next, what we're going to do is go back here to create installation media, that link I, I you put in the I also put in the video description and we we'll scroll down to create media and then you get the create media download uh, which is a little file you're going to use to actually create the media and here we're going to hit save file and I've already downloaded it so it's already in my downloads directory put it somewhere where you'll know where it's going to be I like to put things in my download directory that I download it makes sense and then click on save now I've already done that so just click on save yourself and then I'm going to go to my uh, Windows Explorer here and then of course it's defaulted to my downloads uh, uh, directory or folder and you'll see that media creation tool is right there so then we're going to double click on that and it says gives me a uh, security warning I'll hit run on that and I'm getting a user account control warning I'm going to hit yes you probably don't see that and then you get the Windows logo. I'm just going to minimize this here. And now you get, you know, what kind of installation file do you want to create? Well, we want a language. So I'm going to choose English United States. Uh, choose your Windows uh, version. I've decided to go with Windows 8.1 Pro. It's up to you which version you choose. And then architecture. Now this is important. As I showed you earlier on Windows 7, it shows you whether you're running a 64-bit version or 32-bit version. 8.1 and 8.0 or 8 uh, Windows will also show you that in the appropriate place where I mentioned earlier. Now I'm going for a 64-bit version, then I click on Next. Now you get an option, USB flash drive or ISO file. Well, we want the ISO file because we're going to use the ISO file to burn a DVD. So we're going to click Next. And of course, it's going to go back to my download directory. and of course, I've already downloaded it just to make this quicker for uh, the video. You download this file, it will take a while. This is a 4 gig or 3.57 gig file here. And yeah, 3.27 gigabytes. So uh, depending on your network speed, this may take a, a while to download. Be patient with that. Just let it download until it's finished. And then we're going to move on from there. I'm just going to hit cancel here. And uh, I'm just going to exit this window. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. All right, we finished the download of the file. I'm just going to go back to Windows Explorer here, your file browser, and then go to Downloads, and then you'll see the Windows ISO. Right here is where mine is. It looks like a disk. Just double click the file, and you'll get the Windows Disk Image Burner. And this is in Windows uh, 7 uh, Ultimate. I'm not sure if it's in every version, but you know, it's, I, I believe it is. So here you have a several options one of the versions one of the options you want to definitely click is verify the disk after burning when you're installing uh, your operating system you want to make sure that the, the uh, media you're creating is absolutely reliable and by verifying the disk after burning it it basically compares it to what you uh, your ISO file to make sure that everything that was on the ISO, uh, ISO file burnt onto the disk correctly and if it verifies it after it's been burnt then you know your media is good and you know you're good to go. So here I'm going to click burn and this is going to take a little bit so uh, it's four gigs so I'll uh, fast forward to the end of the process at uh, which point we'll move on from there. as you can see the whole process is finished at this point we got the disk image it has been successfully burned onto the disk so it's either going to pass or show you an error and at this point that's great it we're, we're ready to go we have a bootable disk created and it's in my drive so the next part of this uh, video I'll show you how to reboot your computer and boot off the disk now a lot of computers are automatically set 
to boot off the DVD disc. So just put it in, you know, as a first test, you know, put it in your drive and reboot your machine and see if the installation process starts automatically. Uh, if it doesn't, just follow along next and I'll show you how to get into your boot priority disc, uh, sorry, your boot priority menu on the HP, which is to hit escape key when you see the logo. Uh, different computers have different uh, settings for that. This one has actually two. Uh, the HP has the escape key or F9, which will give you the boot menu. And basically your computer may be escape, it may be F2, F9, uh, regardless. Uh, I'll put a small uh, video or caption on this video showing you the different manufacturers and what those default settings are. And we'll go from there. All right, here we are at my boot screen. You see the HP logo. And on the bottom right, you see press escape key for startup menu. Your, your, if your computer is a different brand, it, might ha it probably has some sort of writing on it somewhere on the, on the boot screen that shows you uh, how to get into the startup menu or the boot menu. Uh, in my case, it's escape, so I'm gonna hit that. All right, and there's the, the boot menu, and you see here I have a, various choices, but what I want is the boot device option, so that's at F9, so I'm gonna hit that. And I have automatically, the first one is internal CD, DVD, ROM drive, or notebook hard drive. Well, we want it to boot off the CD, DVD, ROM drive. Now most, well not most, a lot of computers are set up this way, so you may not even have to go into the boot manager. Try booting with the disk in the drive first, but here we're just gonna hit enter. The DVD will spin up and you get uh, press any key to boot from the CD or DVD, so hit enter, and we begin, begin booting off the drive. And as you can see, we got the Windows logo there. And this takes a little bit of a pause to go through, so I'll fast forward to the end. And here we are at the Windows setup screen. At this point, you choose your appropriate uh, uh, language and time and keyboard uh, settings. Uh, it's up to you what you choose at this point. And you know the mouse is working at this point too and then you click next and continue on to your windows installation from your dvd drive that we created now if you don't want to continue from this point uh, you're not sure whether you want to do this or not you can click x and the x will give you the or the close button at the top will give you the to install windows you can you must run windows installation if you cancel installation your computer might restart are you sure you want to cancel windows installation yes and mine will reboot i'm not sure whether yours will or not but that's basically it so that's how you create a boot cd or dvd rom for windows 8.1 that's it for my video thank you very much for watching uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way do me a favor click on the like button right down here and uh, you know if you wish to subscribe to my channel just click on this link up here and that should subscribe you to the the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.